Hey guys, it's me on the vibe. Let me talk about after dark. Good vibes only, positive vibes only. Talking the things down. And yo, the things them right now is the energy, bro. The energy is crazy in the city or in general. Why? Because we're in retrograde. Retrograde just brings problems, it brings stress. It brings worry, it brings pain, it brings suffering. Like, retrograde is <clears throat> it's something that uh, you have to tackle. And if you guys don't know what it is, it's pretty much like, imagine your life in reverse. Or imagine your, your present life going backwards. That's what retrograde is. Old problems at work appear. Old exes appear. Friendships have issues cars have problems it's pretty much like it, it's it's your life if it wasn't in order that's what, so yes it's pretty much your life it's it's your life upside down it's your life backwards so that's what it is imagine imagine all the good that's happening right now for about like a month or so it just up and disappears or doesn't disappear it goes on pause but the thing is everyone makes it seem like oh retrograde is such a bad thing because everyone's energies and you know the planet's all in one and all these little motion things be going on and shit but like people always i'm like oh retrograde is so stressful but sometimes if you actually take it in it's not stressful it's not a bad thing it slows down certain stuff so that you could catch up it gives you warnings about certain stuff to see if like hey did you learn your lesson like that's how you guys have to look at retrograde you can't look at it like oh my god my ex is back and there's been a mix up no you have to look at it like Okay, if I said I was done with the man or the gal, retrogrades here. Am I really done with the man and the gal? Or is it, you know? That's why you'll be like, oh my god, I woke up so pissed today. I don't know why, I just woke up so angry. And you'll, you'll say that, like you'll say like you wake up and that's what you say, right? For one, that's what you're putting out in the air. Hey universe, hey God, when I wake up I want to be pissed off. You guys have to remember, what you remember, everything you guys say or think it is already heard subconsciously is heard when you say that whatever you say in your head whatever if you say whatever you say in your head you have to remember you you heard that voice somewhere so you're putting it out there subconsciously a negative thing right so that right there during retrograde you guys should already know like hey don't speak negativity that's one retrograde is one of those things where when you speak it it happens you know so it's just like yeah, people are like, oh, I'm so angry. Da, da, da. I don't know why I'm just cranky. And I'm like, no, retrograde. But the thing that people don't understand is that people don't know what retrograde is. They're just hearing, like, oh, my God, I'm stressed. They, that's all they hear. Like, but retrograde is actually a freaking blessing. In Sorry. So, um, yeah, retrograde is actually a blessing. Because the thing is, right, for example, if you work 9 to 5, whatever, right? You go to work, usually when you go to work, your days are fast because they're busy, 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 busy. But now you go to work and work is kind of slow. You're getting agitated because you don't know what to do. Oh, I hate this job. I just sit here and I could have been doing this. That's what starts to happen, right? When when stuff t- start to slow down, you start to wish, oh, I did that instead. Or, oh, I should have done this to prevent this. We can't prevent what happens. We live our We live every day not knowing what tomorrow is going to be. There's a reason for that. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, when stuff slow down, look at it like, okay, this is slowing down, so I have time to fix that. Or I have time to work on that. Or I have time to do that. You know? Look at it in a positive light. Look at it like, oh, okay, it's not just slowing down just to be slow. It's making... Yeah, so it's working on things. Sorry. So, like, imagine, okay, I'm trying to think of a scenario. Okay, imagine you had a pool in your backyard and you were working on your pool two months ago, but something happened, you had to put your pool to the side. But now, the something, the something that happened when you had to put your pool to the side is now on pause. So you could redirect your energy back to fixing your pool and you could actually build up your pool for whatever time you were building it up for. That's how you guys have to look at it. You have to look at it like, okay, this is going like this, so I have time for this. This is going like... And guys, the biggest, the biggest, the biggest, 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 biggest thing with retrograde is the return of the exes, okay? If you are not strong enough, that ex that you always say you never want to be with and don't want to see is going to pop.
The case of the exes. Listen, those exes that come back in retrograde, and I know who called for them. I know who called for them. But just set your boundaries, guys. Set your boundaries. Put your foot down. Lay down your standards, whatever. But don't backtrack. Never backtrack. Never backtrack during retrograde. Because I promise you, it's really what you're feeling is not really what you're feeling. I promise you. If you guys want to test out the theory, test it out. That's fine. Go backtrack to your ex. I'm giving you guys the theory if you want to test try it, okay? Go backtrack to your ex right now. Right, right now in retrograde. What are we, September 21st? Yeah, so we kind of, you're two weeks in. Whatever. Backtrack to, right now. Go link that ex, okay? And see what happens when retrograde is done. I'm telling you, backtrack to your ex and see what happens when retrograde is done. See if you don't feel like an idiot because when retrograde is done, you're not going to have the same feelings. You're not going to have the same feelings. I'm telling you guys, I'm giving you guys free game. I'm giving you guys free game to avoid stress. Like, I'm telling you guys, because every time retrograde comes, everybody's in a little problem with their partner. I'm telling you guys, don't go back. Even if it feels good, even if it smells nice, even if it looks like a million dollars, it's not a million dollars. Don't go back to the exes, bro. It's so stressful. I can't stress this enough. I'm giving you guys free game. If you guys want problems in your life, go back to your ex during retrograde. If you guys want stress in your life, go back to your ex during retrograde. If you guys want problems in your life, go back to your ex during retrograde and see what happens. Okay, so needless to say, when retrograde is here, avoid your exes at all costs. Avoid them, block them, delete them, block them on everything. Email, Gmail, all type of mail. Yo, don't even accept the one cent e transfer. No, 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 it's five cents. Don't even accept the five cent e transfer. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. It's a kill in the cold side. Be safe, guys, because <laughs> it's a joke. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, guys, so another thing, too, is like when we talk to people in retrograde because everyone is so affected in different ways whether it's money relationship job friendship business whatever car whatever stress that people have during retrograde the thing is you just understand retrograde has a pre-shadow so there's like a week before retrograde actually starts where like the symptom we'll call it like a period okay retrograde is the period and then pre-shadow is the symptoms okay so you get the cramps whatever so this pre-shadow pre-shadow retrograde you'll notice you're getting a little cranky for this a little cranky for that but then you'll kind of calm yourself like it's not that serious or stuff are just happening that you're like why is this happening you know you're more confused and then when retrograde comes and that shit's still happening that's when it really kicks in like yeah deal with the problems you know and then that's when everything starts becoming a whole hoopla because it's just like yo bro how do I handle this? But that's why there's a pre-shadow. The thing is, before retrograde actually kicks in, all those problems that are about to happen during retrograde, they come in the pre-shadow. If you decide to laugh it off or ignore it or or play games with it, when I say play games, I'm going to say more the relationship side. If you're like, oh, I kind of feel my ex, but I don't know, you know? If you guys, guys, we make it plain and simple. Make your life yes and no. No maybe, no I don't know, no I'm confused. It's either yes or no. And if life can't be yes or no, then that's something that needs to get removed out of your life because life is simple. Life is very simple. When life is very black and white, life is very simple. Simplify your life. Don't go back to the exes during retrograde. Don't give attitude because you didn't understand the, this, this, the text message or anything. Ask questions. Take five steps back and re reiterate the situation. Look at the situation from a different view. Put yourself in someone else's shoes. In life, guys, we always have warnings. There's always signs. There's always signs. There's always warnings. There's always our intuition. That's the thing. A lot of people don't follow is intuition. We look at our intuition like, I'm just probably overthinking. Nah. Those little feelings in your stomach. Those random head cramps. Those random, like... 
jitters that you get in a situation, follow that. That's that's a sign to follow. Take in what it's telling you to do. You know, protect your energy, guys. As I keep telling you, protect your energy at all costs. Protect your energy, protect your blessings, protect your assets. Say your affirmations. Be grateful. Show gratitude. Say thank you. Say good morning, good afternoon, good night. <laughs> well, yeah, you guys. This was just a little love. Welcome about after dark, you know. Show you guys good things then. Yeah, so I'm going to end the video because the girls got lots of stuff to do for the people then. But you guys already know. Share, like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Shop lovemesculptingspa.com for all your skin, hair, and body needs. I sell sea moss as well. Sea moss smoothies. Follow on Instagram, love me underscore sculpting spa. Put it all in the label for you guys to so see it. But you know, enjoy your Wednesday. I hope this put a smile on your face. I hope this gave you a little bit of understanding of what's going on. And just know you're great. Just know you're great. Remember you're great. You're awesome. You're blessed. You're courageous. You're lucky. Everything and everything. You're great.